Hi guys, we're back again for another week of e-learning. Now before I forget it, I want to remind you all that this week is Teacher Appreciation Week. And your teachers are working really, really hard to make these e-learning lessons for you. I know it doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but it sure takes a lot of time and a lot of effort for your teachers to do that. So if you have time this week, maybe you drop your teacher an email or something and just, just let that teacher know how much you appreciate them, even though we aren't at school right now. Speaking of emails, Thanks so much to all of you who emailed me last week. I really look forward to those. I went out in the world and went to the grocery store and Dollar General last week and I actually got to see a few of the students and I was just so excited. I have never been so happy to see people in my life. So hopefully, now that we're opening up a little bit, we might see each other every once in a while. Now, boys and girls, this week, the kindergarten, the first and the second graders have a story to listen to about a dragon in a book, and it is by an author named Tom Fletcher, but I'm not the reader this week. Tom Fletcher's story was featured this week on PBS Kids, and it was read by former First Lady Michelle Obama. And she's been reading stories on PBS every Monday. She calls it Monday with Michelle. So if you're looking for something to listen to, if you want to listen to a story, that's a good place to look is PBS Kids. So the kindergarten, first and second, they have Tom Fletcher's children's book uh, called There's a Dragon in this book. Um, the third grade, fourth, fifth, and sixth graders all have a song to listen to. That is also by Tom Fletcher, and he has um, joined up with some of his friends in Britain, and they have done uh, a song in honor of the frontline workers, your nurses, your doctors, emergency personnel, those people. So I linked that. Tom Fletcher is a British, as you can tell, author, of adult fiction, or not adult fiction, but of fiction books that are for adults. Um, he writes children's books ever since he was a dad a few years ago. And he is also, though, a member of a British pop band called McFly. So Tom Fletcher does all kinds of stuff. I think he even vlogs, although I've not watched any of his his vlogs but I think he even vlogs so he's a multi-talented guy but I follow him on Instagram and his videos that he's been putting on of he and his wife and their kids at home during this um, stay at home time period have made me laugh so many times so you might want to check him out on Instagram Tom Fletcher um, Everything else this week's pretty straightforward. I did add some things on my fun page for the, the bigger kids if you've been looking. Um, if you're doing something fun over this time, you listen to a good song or, um, you know, you come across something that's funny you think I might like, drop me an email. Just tell me what you're doing. See what's going on. If you think something I'm doing is interesting, let me know. I want to talk to you anytime, anytime. Just send me an email. I'd love, love, love to hear from you. That's about it for this week. The dogs and I are still hanging out and we're doing fine. Hope you are too. Um, remember to thank your teachers this week and do what they need for you to do. I think we've only got a week or so to go. So keep up the good work. Remember how much we love you and how much we care about you and how much we really can't wait to see you. Hey, maybe you could even send me a snapshot or a video of yourself. Hey, that'd be awesome. Anyway, I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you.